Alrighty, hello everyone, Busy Gamer Dad back again doing our third and final session gameplay week on Steam's Next Fest. These get demos are still available actually after, you know, what, two weeks, three weeks after the uh, Next Fest has closed. So if you happen to download them, uh, you know, I would recommend you playing them because they're a lot of fun. But also, first and foremost, if you can still download them, go and do that now and try out these games for yourselves. Any of the ones that you might see uh, listed out there with demos, because demos are a lost art. They're a lost uh, uh, opportunity for developers to really showcase their game, what they're going for, and really get people interested, really build that hype, that uh, that interest in the game and people wish listing it. And I really think that a good demo can really stand a game up or set it up for failure or have it set up for failure and then come back from the grave. It, I've seen it all manner of ways. But this week is our last week of the session gameplay series where we're going to be covering these demos from the Steam Next Fest in 2023 here on the Busy Gamer Dad channel. So if you don't know what the session gameplay series is on this channel, we usually do one game about three over the course of three episodes for about 20-30 minutes to see if you guys like it, hate it, give me some comments, some feedbacks, maybe it's something I'll do a long play on or another week on if you guys feel you want to see more content from it. This last few weeks has been a special set for the Steam Next Fest demos, showcasing them, and they lend themselves to about 20-30 minutes of gameplay. We only do one episode for those demos, just to cover the demo, because they're good for a soundbite, they're good for a flavor of the game in proper. Today, enough rambling about all of that uh, tr uh, 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 tangent stuff, is we're going to be covering Dice Folk. Dice Folk is, you play as a summoner, a Chimera summoner, you go out on adventures, you recruit new chimeras, you build a squad, you command them, uh, roll dice, build mechanics, etc. All the synergies of like a Pokemon kind of style uh, gameplay, but you also, I say Pokemon, but it's really not. You have a team. You have, uh, I think it's up to three or four uh, chimeras that you can control at a time. Uh, I actually have not played this. I looked at the uh, uh, store on Steam, which will have a link for down in the YouTube descriptions for you guys. And I said, yes, I want to play this game. So we're going to go off to the races. We're going to have some fun here. We're going to kick it off with, I believe this has no controller support at the moment. Uh, I'm not certain if that will actually be something that they invest in later on. So it's just a uh, mouse and keyboard, which is all good. Let's start off a new game. Uh, we get to pick a talisman. Ooh, what is this? The warrior talisman attracts chimeras with great offensive capability. Okay, so this is what our like affinity is. Storm Talisman looks locked, locked. Okay, all right, Pain Talisman, all right, cool. And these are the creatures that we can get? Oh, nice, nice. So that's a wonderful mechanic. And then I know that you can, it's basically like a, a Slay the Spire kind of mechanic or a, a Choose a Path kind of mechanic where we can go through and pick certain battles as we learn through. So we're gonna go through our tutorial right now, I'm sure. Oh, when we get a story. Sailing bewitched the most powerful chimeras of the Morning Reach. Humanity almost disappeared 300 years ago. Oh dear. I'm a human. I don't want to disappear. Today, the mad sorcerer sleeps deep in the heart of the Iborian peak to the east. Okay. A little the sad. Witch, his evil grip still controls the magical fauna of our lands. Okay. And those are the Chimera? However, us dice folk, masters of will bending dice, are able to command Chimeras as well. Hmm. Okay. At least, that's what the books told us. Uh, I've never read the same. Oh, it's animated. Nice. Humanity is too weakened to fight back Salem. I will. Are you the last dice folk? Is that what this is about? Battle start. Out there, it doesn't take too long before we are stopped by Salem's chimeras. Okay. What does that mean? <laughs> These are adorable. No worries, my Chimera are here to protect me. Each Chimera has a unique ability, must made up of triggers followed by effects. On spawn, if it, the 
lead attacks the opposing. Okay, so he will attack automatically. Gotcha. The chimeras facing each other are called leaders. These two, yep, with little crown. They are ready to take action. White dice let me command my chimera, my team. Okay. Black dice let me command the enemies. I must click a die to make the corresponding chimera perform an action. So if I choose to attack, are you going to die? Yes, you will. Rotate. Left. Oh, so I can rotate my group and he would attack. His attack's only five? Four? Okay, so let's just finish this off. Now it rotates to the Muhammad. And then he's going to attack for two. So, and then I have to end my turn after they attack me. Gotcha. And then what happens if I rotate? Do you automatically attack? When all the dice are used, I can end my turn and roll new dice. Mmm, okay. What is this? Idle. Okay, I do have an opportunity to hold on to it. I need to be careful. Enemy Chimera also have their own abilities. Oh, he attacks and gains strength. Ah, okay. So now he's going to attack for four? Is that what you're telling me? So if I rotate... Again, you're only going to hit for four, so why would I put you in front? I'll hit for five. Attack minus five, but then he's going to hit, and then you're going to take the hit for me, because you have the biggest health pool. Sorry, little buddy. Then I'll end my turn. Okay, so it's a ebb and flow, uh, that kind of where we rotate our, our uh, squad around. They rotate their squad around, or rather, I rotate their squad around to find the best advantageous. Oh, he has another ability, bulk up. What does that do? I love tool tips. Plus your strength the rest of the round. What? That's awesome. Do that. And then you'll be able to finish it and rotate randomly. Oh, wow. Okay, and that would rotate the team randomly. Okay, but we'll just end the fight. Yay, confetti, hooray. I'm the best. I'm the best. Uh, collect all the loots. These are the dice that I had before. Yes, it seems like those are the dice I had before. Beloid. Beloid. Okay, and then heal token. Paper shield. Uh, in effect, Chimera does not receive damage the next on the next attack. Well, it completely mitigates damage. That's pretty awesome. Oh wait, no. Uh no, cancel. So I have to actually click and take them. Okay, nice. New piece of equipment. I can either click or drag it. Okay. Alright, so this is how that works. And then that goes up at the top. Found a token, it can be very useful and handy in the battle. Okay, so this, I don't know how the equipment works versus what this is. Okay, we'll find out, I'm sure. And that was it, that's it. Okay, cool. I can travel, one traveling, I can always take a look at my team and manage it. Now, where should I go next? Oh, well, this is fun. I don't know, where should I go next? I can't see what these are. This is a bush. A brood, broodberry? These are fights. There's something else here. Let's go for the mystery. Yeah, let's do that. Like, you can tell me what I should do. Oh, that's not a mystery thing. Okay, fine. I thought it was, but it's not. On spawn, attacks. Ooh, wow. Uh, Mink pocket. That's awesome. Steals money for me. Oh, dear. That's a good thing I'm broke. Muhammad and a bottle. Okay, and I can guard. I feel like I want to save that for this guy if I can't finish him off. So if I rotate and attack, or if I attack and rotate, what's the best to you? Random. What's a random do? Their leader either attacks or turns in a random direction. Uh-huh. Okay, and I can't end my turn. So, yeah, might as well attack with the biggest amount we can attack to get players off the board. He would be next. So... Okay, so that guy will be next, and he'll steal gold, but does he... He will attack for three. Okay. Uh, so... I'm gonna rotate. I'm gonna shield. Chimeras and abilities have... Chimeras and equipment have many abilities during the fight. They... Lost I can consult how this is. Any 
time. Okay, good. Awesome. So then, let's have you do that. I figured that was going to happen. If I rotate again, you go back, and that ends the turn, and then we're going to mitigate the damage. Nice. Awesome. Oh, he didn't attack. Interesting. Ranged attack. What does that mean? Target an opponent. Any opponent leader attacks it. I see. Okay, and then that's going to be a rotate. And he, the Muhammad's going to be next. Reckless swing. It will finish that guy off. Yeah, let's do it. Incapacitated. What does that mean? An affected chimera cannot attack until the end of the turn. Oh, is that like their thing? I guess it's their thing. So I might as well just have you take this hit. I don't have. You gave me a gold? I'll take it. I don't mind. Not one bit. Let's rotate randomly. And then let's rotate to the left. Okay. Uh, reckless strike. Oh, that's because it incapacitates. That's where the reckless comes from. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, so you're going to attack, but if I shield, and if I do the reckless strike, and then if I have you just attack, you do nothing, and then just free rotate. And then free rotate? Yes, that worked out pretty okay. Um, he'll be next. I don't want him to go again, because he gets stronger every time I hit him. It doesn't look like I have a way to mitigate the damage. You're going to attack me and steal your coal back, which is unfortunate. But it seems to be the way of the world. But if I rotate, do five damage to you. And then three and three. So if I rotate, then you'll just do three and we'll end our turn. I noticed that we don't have to rotate every single time, which is good, because that I, I, I would love to know what dice need to be played and what dice don't need to be played. Oh, I can toggle the battle speed? All right, yeah, do that. Um, so if I rotate you again, do I have the damage to kill you? I don't. But I can still hit you really hard. And then I can rotate. So, like, I don't have to do the clash? What is this? Counterattack. And then he stole the gold back. I don't get what happened there. But okay. I could have ended my turn, but I wasn't sure, like, what that did. So if I do this again, do you give me a gold back? You give me three gold? Is it based on your attack power? I'm confused as to why that's a thing. That might be a bug that they might need to look into. But I don't care. I'll give. I'll take the money. I don't mind. And then, so their attacks are already done. So I don't have to worry about that. And if I rotate, I can hit this guy for six. And then we'll end the turn. And then do I win? I win. Nice. Plus another three gold. Cool. Very cool. Oh, there's a shop and a shrine. Oh, I don't know how much, I don't know how expensive things are. How hurt is my team? Eh, not the best. Um, I like the little map though, that's fun. Let's see what the Chimera Shine has to offer. Let's get another buddy. This Chimera doesn't seem aggressive. A sigh. That dude looks... You remember the TV show Street Sharks? That's what this guy reminds me of. The action figure Street Sharks? That's what this guy reminds me of. I see. It's attracted to my talisman. If I recruit it, it will replace my one of my current chimeras. I can only recruit and shine once per region. There may be more interesting chimera at another shrine. I need to make a good decision. Okay, so if I reject him, what does that mean? Does that mean he's gone forever? Or can I come back? 
in this one. It's only possible to group one. So I'm going to... This is a starting area. So for science, I'm going to hit reject. Oh, see, so that, that did answer the question. Okay. Um... You know what? Let's do it. Let's recruit him. He's my first buddy that wanted to come with me. And then we will replace... I don't want to replace... Who's the most hurt? 22. I guess you are. Yeah, we'll replace you, bud. Sorry. So do you have anything? Alright, and then we're done. Okay. Then we can go back to the shop. Nice. Let's see if this is like a multi-visit. Okay, so it can purchase things. Hello, nice dice. Uh, hello, dice folk. Let's see here. Uh, 20. So I could purchase revive and fully heal all KO'd allies. That's huge. Uh, a small dice that lasts for only one battle. Okay. Rusty knife. Once per battle, it's like poison damage equal to attacker strength. So that'd be good on you two. Strongly heals. Okay. Oh, hey. Um. And I'm assuming this is gone after I use the token. I think I'm going to leave for now and we'll see if I can return to the shop later. Doesn't look like it's grayed out, so. Yeah, okay. And it looks like the other Chimera shops got broken. Or Trines got broken. Spawn to six damage. Yeah, I'm glad I have him in front. This guy looks really cool. He looks so docile, though. Never pet a shark. That's, dude, they're 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 animals. They're wild animals for a reason. Six damage. What does bulk up to? Plus two strength. So if I rotate randomly, if I rotate you, rotate. There. Perfect. And then, yeah, then you're only taking three damage. And then if I hit Reckless Strike, I kind of want to rotate. Let me rotate. Let me do bulk up. Interesting. So that really didn't do too much. I guess maybe he's got other abilities that I unlock later. Random and rotate. You would be up next. Let's do the Reckless Strike. What does the random do? An attack. Okay. And it made a rotate. Alright. The rest of the turn. I'll leave it on you because you're going to attack. And then I have to do the bulk up it looks like. And I have to rotate. Interesting. Okay, so, yeah, I, I would love to know what reason it tells me that... Okay, ranged attack. What is the ranged attack? <clears throat> okay. Idle. So I've lost. Leader stays idle. Okay, so if I... Just hit you. Range attack. Allows me to hit anyone. Even my own people? Why I would do that, I don't know. Maybe there's some, like, um... Bloodlet mechanic or something like that. And then six and defeat it. Nice. And then I do not want you to take five. So if I rotate there. Uh, yeah, I have to. I have to hit you. I have to take the hit. Oh, so, because I'm incapacitated, the Clash is basically a free hit for them. That sucks. Let's do the random rotate. That is the one person I did not want to have there. Oh, well. We lost our first friend. Uh-oh, one of my commanders just fainted. It's not impossible to... One of my commanders can fight. And before I can heal this one, I need to revive it first. Better be careful next time. Okay, so I do like that it's not handholdy in a lot of senses of the word um but it definitely gives you an explanation about what's going on and why it's happening 
and it's up to you to figure out the best chemistry to to work at it. Oh, he has a counterattack. He just counterattacked for some reason. Okay. I would love to know what the triggers are for those. Okay, so that guy's hurt. Let's Oh, there's a chest. A knight scimitar. If health is not full plus 4 strength. Whoa. Can I equip that? I can. Oh, so do I have to put that on the chimeras? Is that what I was missing? Interesting. Right, let's go to the shop. There was a fully heal one here. Let's buy that. Can I use that while I'm in here? Doesn't look like it. And then I only have nine left, so I'm gonna leave. This is a good like math problem kind of game too, where you gotta figure out the best tactics. I have a KO. Can I use that? Use. Outside of battle. Okay. Alright, so does that take a turn to use them? The questions. Uh, let's go to the berry bush. Brood berry bush. Lightly heal the whole team. What happens if I skip it? Maybe here one come here. Maybe come here my choice. They all say lightly heal. And this one's going to get fully healed anyways. These are basically collect all the loot, so... Okay, so I'm doing this. Right, okay, so everyone's back at full. A dice smith? Okay, what do you have to offer? Of course. Stuff. Burn token inflicts burn equal to... Allies leader strength. Okay, cool. Team gains gold, nice. Oh, these are extra free rotations, dice faces. Oh, cool. Nice, so you can augment your dice, that's great. And these are what I was rolling before. Yeah, I would definitely wanna update this one because idle is just a wasted turn, wasted dice roll. So if I can get anything other than that. It detects, yes. All right, cool, I like that, I like that a lot. It's not just whole new dice like one of the other games that we took a look at, but it's um, upgrading the dice that you have. Let's go down the path we've been going down. Now let's do our items to... Where are you? Plus four. Nice. Okay, so if I use... The... Okay, so the leader has to use that. Does that mean I forfeit my turn? No, it's not. Okay, good. Alright, so then... So this is just a regular strike. I have nine clash. So if I rotate you, hit you, and then clash, and then rotate, and turn. And then if we do clash, that worked out really well. And then get him down to two. Uh, we do a random rotation. Ah, oh, bummer. We'll get him down to four. That's okay. That's okay. And then he'll go up next. So it wasn't the the this guy that had the, the heal or the other ability. It was yeah, okay. Free rotation. Yep. Finish that off. Oh I did that wrong. Because now he's still gonna eat four damage, and I think before he wouldn't have uh, Well, you have the biggest health pool, so you might as well hit there and we'll end our turn all right so then clash what if i do a free rotation okay so that kind of helped up the strength because then he'll take eight and 16 so he'll definitely yeah he'll die this turn oh no wait but he'll hit me first and then i'll hit him back okay cool that worked out really well Nice, I'm learning. Look, I'm learning. Nice, oh, take the gold. Don't just leave it. And there's a campfire. Oh, what is this? What to do? Rest, eat? Slightly increase a random stat. So how do you equipment? So I don't have enough equipment to worry about that. Strongly heal chimeras. Random stat for chimeras. I kind of want to do this one just to see what happens. 
Yeah, let's do it. Wow, their max health went up by a lot. Okay, that worked out. What to do? Continue. Alright, so that was that area. And now we only really have one more section to explore. But I kind of want to... What was it? The shop. Let's see what the shop had to offer again real quick. Because we have 29. I think that's enough for everything. Okay, we can heal an ally. Strongly healed. Ally KO. So it's basically like a free revive. Once per battle inflicts an amount of poison equal to the strength. Okay. And then that's just gold. Small dice. Focus. Uh, none of these are really speaking to me as like really good ideas yet. But maybe they are. I'm just not seeing it. Like the gold one makes sense. I know what it does. know what it means. But yeah, I don't know. This burn one it seems like a fun idea. Uh, support attack. Target an ally. It attacks the enemy leader. Rotate desire. I think I really want this. One of these two. Because I need to mitigate damage. But I also need to keep making sure I'm doing damage. I don't know if it like gives me a you know let's let's see what this does. Oh, it allows me to put it on any. Whoa, getting a new dice face. I'm incredibly powerful. All that's left now is to choose the dice it goes on. I will absolutely choose this because that has idols on it, and it's like yeah, we don't need that. I have thirteen, so I can get another rotate or. Um, I kind of want to try one of these out. Let's, uh, but I don't. I don't. I don't want to waste my money. I don't want to waste my money. Let's go back up to the shop real quick and pick up. I think there was something that was 13. Oh, it wasn't the one I thought it was. I wanted the rusty knife. But, alright, cool. Alright, we're leaving. We're going on an adventure. The last path that's open to us. Let's see what's here. Hey, that guy. So, plus four. Clash. Ranged attack. Randomly rotate. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see here. So I want to... I like this. This is not your standard uh, pet battle game in any way. You've got to make sure that you're doing the rotating things. you got to make sure you're looking at the whole system that's at play. And if you're not, you're going to have a bad time. So if I were to do this, I'd kill him. That's what I thought. And then if I were to do... I do not want you to attack me and steal my monies. So if I were to do a rotate, and I were to do a ranged attack on... If I were to do it on him. Bam. There. And uh, do I want to rotate? Yes. Alright, so clash, reckless strike, random rotate. So... Yeah, do the clash, and then do the reckless ro the reckless strike, and then we'll random rotate. Nice. Okay, so if I do clash there, and then if I do reckless strike, we win. Nice, awesome. I found it out. Figured the path forward. Uh, abandoned tent. Ooh, an elite battle? I don't want to do that. What's in the abandoned tent? Oh. You just got another equipment pouch? And the whole team gets healed? Absolutely, I'll take that. Let's take another normal fight, because I do not think we're ready for anything else yet. I think we're... I think we're good gotta put this guy in front again so that we get that free hit. Enemy taunts. So I rotate. Hit that. Just hit the enemy taunt? What's that gonna do? Well, if I hit you, you're just gonna die. I don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna rotate. Put the shield out front. And we do the clash. Nice. Yep. And then we do the reckless strike. And then we can end our turn, essentially, because we force the... Ro okay, I see. I see. I get it. It's the force rotation from defeating a component... Or uh, an opponent, a chimera. 
that makes the rotation happen. Gotcha. And then they re-roll. And then... Let's see, he would be up next. We're going to lose some money this time. Unfortunately. It is what it is. We'll just hit as hard as we can. Right there. But we did We did a good thing. We did it. We got him. Oh, there's the boss. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run back here quick because I know we're coming up on time. This might be a scripted death, but we'll figure it out. Let's grab. Let's grab the this and we'll put that on you. Actually, do I want to stack it? Because on spawn full life. Oh wait, no, this is probably what I want to do. And then if I make you the leader, that's the better play. And then we'll end our end this, and then we'll run down to, I don't think there's anything, if I get another, I think there's a, a the flame token is something I can afford. Let's do the flame token, and then we'll call that good. And then we're gonna go and do the boss battle. Let's see what the boss battle's about. And then we'll call call this episode good. I'm having fun, this is great. Free strike, poisoned, plus six. I should be careful, here's a worthy opponent, a boss. Strizzle. Looks like a bugbear. It even comes with its own special die that can only be used by the boss. Just have to defeat the boss and win this battle. Okay, so if I rotate though, do, do you have to use that die? Do I make it so that you have to still use that die? Okay, I do. That's unfortunate. Um. Let's hit him, and then the enemy strike on you. And that's it, we'll end our turn. Um, I don't have to rotate. But if I rotate randomly, oh, and then you're gonna force a rotation. Gotcha. I think this might be a scripted death, but if it is, it is. Uh, yeah, have you keep on hitting this guy. And then choose a chimera. Him. Keep hitting that boss. And then we'll rotate. Because this guy, if we do clash, it will force a random rotation. So clash, random rotate. Nice, I expected that. And then random rotate. Nice, put the boss out in front. We'll hit him. And he's gotta hit again. So I have to choose an ally. Unfortunately, it's gonna be this guy. And we'll end our turn. Yeah, we still just gotta keep on keeping on. We gotta do the reckless strike. And then he's gonna unfortunately go down. Let me use this on him, because he's just taking all the hits. So if I random rotate, and then we'll leave it. No, I have to rotate, okay. I'm trying to, yes, this is exactly what I want to have happen. So if I rotate and put you out in front, and I rotate and put you out in front, I know you're gonna take a hit, but then if I use this, Plus 10 burn, nice. And then I'll do a reckless strike. And then unfortunately our buddy here is just eating all the damage. Such a good little chimera. Hold in there, buddy. Then if I bulk up, 21 against him. Reckless strike, because it's double damage, right? Yep. There, and he should die when I rotate this. No, he didn't. Why didn't he die? Oh, because it's burn dam- Oh, shoot. I made a mistake. Random. Hey, that works out for me. That works out great for me. Because I am just gonna swing for the fences and finish him off. And we win. That's awesome. Oh, would you look at that? Awesome. This is great. So this is the meta progression. The choose one re relic, essentially. And it doesn't tell me what they do. I wish they did. That, that tooltip would be really helpful to have. 
All right, so this is Dice Folk, uh, another Steam demo that I downloaded. I had a lot of fun playing it with you guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe to the Busy Gamer Dad channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. Next uh, episode this week is going to be another Steam demo, wrapping it up for our special session gameplay series here on the Ga Busy Gamer Dad channel. See you then. Bye.